how to remove a nipple from a fitting inside the wall. This is an old cast iron fitting that used to have a chrome tail piece screwed into it. Now what happened was, is the tail piece is so thin that it'd bend when I tried to twist it out with a pipe wrench and a pliers. So it actually, it broke off inside the wall and it left a ring inside this fitting, making the fitting basically useless. So what I had to do is I had to get that ring out. What I did is I took, so I had it in there, you know, intact. And then I took a small saw like this here. And then I went and I made a few cuts and then I pried pieces out. Here's one of the pieces that I pried out. And then there was this remaining ring in there that I then took a screwdriver and then pried it down. And then it came out like that. So now what I'm left with is this 1959 cast iron fitting. And because it's been together so long, I need to clean it. And what I'm gonna to use to clean it is a wire brush. I have that around here somewhere, but basically I will just go around and I will scrape out the fitting. And then the fitting should be clean for when I screw in my PVC. This is a PVC that's going to go in there. It's an inch and a quarter mil adapter. This is an odd size inch and a quarter. It's not used too much anymore. And then I'm going to go with a new inch and a quarter union P-trap. See, it's inch and a quarter. So this should work really well once it's all done. When you are cutting, you need to make sure that you don't go too far and you nick those threads. If you nick those threads, you want to use extra pipe dope and extra Teflon tape to hopefully seal any cuts that you made in the threads.